What's up and welcome back everybody to a brand new episode of Call of Duty Mobile. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to use the XPR-50 effectively in combat. Now, there are two levels of sniping, staying back and sniping, and level 2 is when you are playing game modes like Domination or Hardpoint, when you have to enter the battle scene, take on solo gunfights by yourself. That is when the XPR-50 comes in action. You can't just take the DLQ-33 and go in action. Like, you can, but not everybody's high for it. So, basically, the XPR-50 is your transition to the DLQ. Now, you want to use the tactical scope to avoid a too much zoom. I'm going to go for a stock because, yeah, again, you're entering the battlefield. I'm going to go for a quick reload to make things move fast. Again, we're going for speed. And then the FMJ. There would be no point putting a su suppressor when you're like literally in the in the, in the face. I'm going to use a transform shield because I don't think I'll be using it much. Actually, I'm not going to use my operator. I don't know whether I'll use it. I really don't know. I'm going to use a frag grenade water festival. Actually, I'm not going to use it. I'm just, I just put it over there for stock casing. Anyways, without any further ado, let's hop right into this video. Okay, before we enter like right into the battle, there's something I need to show you guys. And um, let's do that like right off the bat. So when you so when you shoot with this piston, you realize that it's actually as fast as the XPR. Besides, the XPR can wall bang and has more damage, more range. And the only thing you need to be good at with the XPR is actually tapping quickly. You do that, and well, you're boss of your own will, man. There's like nothing that can actually stop you when you do that. Right there, they are. Wow, a double kill right there. And uh, yeah, wow, guys, look at that wall bang. I don't think that was a wall bang exactly, but oh no, that was actually bad gameplay. That was a bad decision making. I don't even know why I have it. There you go, a, a nice wall bang there. Ah, uh, what the hell am I doing? Holy. Wow, they captured C because he captured A. Okay. Uh, I actually preferred this position. Wow, look at look at all those shots. Free kills for me. Okay, stay low, reload quickly. And well, oh wait. Round two got, I mean round one got over. It's time for round two. Now, as you can see with me sniping and all this stuff, my accuracy is tremendous. Like, honestly, have, have you seen this much accuracy? Like, it's like, it's like using an assault. Only thing, it's like the slowest assault in the game. If, if I had to uh, change the DLQ class, it would be this, I would like uh, call this more, like the long, what do you, oh my god. Oh no, there was a stone over there. Oh no, that, that if that rock would not have been there, I would have freaking got, got out of there and I would not have died. Holy, I'm just gonna place it in the place where I died. Oh, a double kill already. <laughs> oh, triple Why? kill. Wait, there's somebody behind me. That guy was using an MSMC, I could see right through that. And I just took a guy with the MSMC using the XPR. Dude, how awesome is that? Kill, okay, my kills are being stolen now. Damn it, won't he die? Honestly, I suggest after the XPR go for the Arctic 50. If you're good with the Arctic 50, then go for the DLQ. Before doing the outro, I'm going to display the final class setup. If anybody wants to copy, the nades, the smokes, the perks are all you. I'm mostly concerned with the XPR. Yeah, do not use the original scope. That's all I want to say to you guys. So guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and also hit the bell icon to never miss an upload. For those of you guys who learned something, well, please leave a like, comment down below what you feel about the XPR 50. Besides, it is getting a buff in season nine. Till then, Sir Sayoro out. Bye.